to the course of urban planning. In this session, we are going to cover development plan within the broader theme of different levels of plans. As you can see, we have seen by now perspective plan, regional plan. So, today we are going to cover development plan. We are going to walk through the URDPFI guidelines and Bhopal Development Plan 2031 draft document to understand the purpose and the content of the development plan in this session. Accordingly, the coverage of this session will include distinction of the development plan, major contents of the development plan, guidelines for capturing existing conditions and development issues with the help of Bhopal Development Plan 2031 range of maps which needs to be prepared for development plan document. The expected learning outcomes would include on completion of this uh, session, you should be able to differentiate the development plan from other level of plans. You should be able to tell important contents of the development plan, should be able to discuss the development plan of Bhopal with respect to its content and context. You should be able to list range of maps prepared for the development plan document. Development plan is a statutory plan, which means it is related to or set by laws or statutes. It is decided or controlled by law. Uh, as you will see, not other plans are, uh, are the statutory plan, but the development plan is a statutory plan, which is guided by the laws. This means that it is formulated in accordance with the statutory provisions of the relevant act. As we can see here, Bhopal Development Plan as it is mentioned in the document published under the provision of Madhya Pradesh Nagar Tathagram Nivas Adhiniyam 1973. So, under this act, this document has been prepared. Bhopal Development Plan 2031 is prepared by the Directorate of Town and Country Planning, Government of Madhya Pradesh. We can see the planning team here, which consists of Directorate Town and Country Planning team, as well as consultants and subject experts. So, we see that there is a uh, huge team which is involved in preparing the development plan. Development plan is prepared within the structure of the perspective plan and aligned with the regional plan. A development plan is to be prepared for a period of 20 to 30 years. The objective of the development plan is to provide further necessary details and intended actions in the form of strategies and physical proposals for various policies given in the perspective plan and regional plan depending upon the economic and social needs and aspiration of the people available resources and priorities. The distinction of the development plan compared to perspective and regional plan are that the proposals of the development plan are definite, supported by an implementation strategy and evaluation criteria. The development plan makes known publicly the intention of the local authority regarding the physical, social and the economic development the facilities and the services that are proposed to be provided in near future. The approved development plan allows the local authority to implement development of the land area specified under the plan with the help of local area plans and projects. The time frame of the development plan is for the period of 20 years by most of the urban development authorities or ULBs for greenfield cities. A longer planning period may be considered aligned with the infrastructure life of 30 years. These plans should be in phases of 5 years to make it convenient for periodic reviews and revisions. This 5 year cycle may be coincided with the state level state 5 year plans and state finance commission's recommendations for green field area phasing could include a zero period for approvals, institutional setup, initial land pooling and revisiting any strategy. The term development plan is used differently in different uh, states. Some states 
use it for an integrated multi sector plan such as district development plan. In some other states it is a statutory land use plan approved and adopted by the local authority and its proposals are precise and definite notifying the property owners the manner in which their properties will be affected. We can see here for example, uh, here we can see Bhopal development plan, so where they are calling it as a development plan In the other we can see Delhi master plan where we call it a master plan. So, we see that there is variation. Here both the plans, development plans and master plans have the same functions and impose similar controls with variation in the use of nomenclature by states. We can see further that in areas under the schedule 6th of constitution, land is not directly state subject such as in the northeastern states where land title is based on community ownership. The approach to land aspect of the development plan may be different in such cases. We will look at the content of the development plan. The development plan is a written document and contains map showing the spatial plan and the document contains range of supporting charts and diagrams. We will simultaneously walk through the URDPFI guidelines and the Bhopal development plan 2031 draft document to understand the purpose and details of the development plan. As per the guidelines, the documents or the report should contain the following major heads. First, we see it should contain existing conditions and development issues, which will be our major focus today, where we will see how Bhopal development plan has really covered existing conditions and development issues. Second, we will see assessment of deficiency and projected requirements, how they are done, vision and mission. Uh, it should be covered within the content of development plan. Then what kind of development proposals are prepared should be covered. Uh, we further see that the most important part is it should have implementation plan. So, these are the range of uh, broader range of contents which a development plan has. In this session, we will only cover the first part uh, that uh, indicates what constitutes or what should be captured in showing existing conditions and development issues of the planning area. So, while doing this, we first most of the documents indicate or should indicate as suggested the background where it should indicate the local, regional setting and the connectivity brief history of the development of the planning area, a city influence and its characteristic including settlement pattern, rural urban relationship and fringe area development should be discussed. Uh, we further see that the physical settings, topography, climate, soil, uh, all these profiles and conditions need to be given um, uh, do, uh, when one discuss the background information in the development plan. So, we are looking at the uh, Bhopal development plan 2031, we see how the introduction part here takes care of the, this is volume 1 draft we are looking at, how it takes care of the entire introduction part where it covers the background study area location and it also reviews all the previous development plans. The document indicates that Bhopal plays a dominant role in the Bhopal capital region which comprises of the districts of Bhopal, Rajgarh, Sihor, Raisin, Shahjapur and Agra Malwa. The city is surrounded by a network of market towns of Berasia, Vidisha, Raisin, Obidullah Ganj and Sihor. These towns are well connected by regional roads with the city of Bhopal, but are poorly connected with each other. Consequently, the city acts as a nodal center of trade and commerce of regional importance. Furthermore, the city is relatively accomplished in various services and facilities and act as a major service center of the region. We further see that in the document, it takes cognizance of the regional setting and neighboring development plans. The total area of the region is uh, nearly 30,000 uh, square kilometer. The neighboring development plans 
which are considered in the document or acknowledged in the document are Sihor, Beresia, Sachi, Vidisha, Raisin, Rajgarh, Salkanpur, uh, Rehti and Mandideep, which are prepared by town and country planning and are adopted by the state. In the document, the geographical setting is reviewed to assess the resources of the planning area. The region has nearly 25, over 25 percent forest, Tiger Reserve, Narmada River, Parvati River, Kolar and Betwa River pass through the region. The region also has numerous reservoirs including Bhojtal Lower Lake, Hatai Kheda Pond, Halali Reservoir, Ghoda Pachad Reservoir, Kalya South and so on. In the document, the industrial corridor is reviewed at the regional level. The region has Mandideep as one of the major industrial center in which 32 major and 250 to medium and small units are operated. The industrial center has been also developed in village Pilu Kedin. Major industrial centers are connected via roads forming a ring in the city. The development of an industrial center is proposed by the Industrial Development Corporation IDC in village Bagroda located between Mandideep and Bhopal. Some of the major industrial units have been established in Sihor and Budhni. We also see a plastic park which was developed uh, on 62 hectare of land in Tamot village. So we see all these details have been provided in the development plan, reviewed and provided. Further review is also done of the traffic and transportation at the regional level and regional tourism centers. There are uh, important rivers, lake reservoirs, mountain range, forest, religious places and other natural resources with considerable potential for tourism. There are two world heritage sites, Sachi and Bhimbetka near the city. The region has numerous places such as uh, Islam Nagar, Udaigiri, the Ratanpani Sanctuary, Delavari, Bhojpur and so on. We can see as this map is prepared which it shows the places of tourist interest in the region. So, this has this map has been prepared in the development plan. In the document, the economic and income profile are also reviewed. Now, we uh, look uh, at the planning area. What does the document tell us about the planning area? Bhopal planning area uh, shown in dark green expanded in uh, northern side in 2005. We are looking at how these areas are expanding uh, as per the development plans which came up in years. In 2021, uh, the area is shown in light green was uh, in all the peripheral areas as you can see. Now, we see the new planning area is mostly in the southern western peripheral area and to certain extent on the eastern peripheral area shown in orange color. At present, municipal corporation has 85 wards and total area is 40, over 41,000 hectare. The population density of ward number 12 is 974 person per hectare which is the most densely populated ward in the city. The ward with the lowest population density is ward number 24 which has a density of 12 person per hectare. In total there are 12 wards having a density between 300 to 500 persons per hectare. 9 wards have density uh, ranging from 500 to 974 persons per hectare. As we can see in this uh, map, it provides Bhopal ward details and uh, the locations of the different wards. Bhopal being the state capital of Madhya Pradesh is fast growing as a multifunctional capital city. Rapid changes taking place uh, in the urban economy due to globalization and liberalization of economic policy started in the early 19s. Uh, that has placed a new demand on Bhopal which is emerging as a national city. Based on these perspectives, it is envisaged that Bhopal is likely to perpetuate the major functional characters as administrative center, commercial cub industrial center, education cum research center, transport and communication center. The document reviews and provides physiography physical features of the city, 
Bhopal city is built on a hilly re area. We can see in this map, uh, this map is again provided in the development plan. You can see the digital elevation model which shows the range uh, variation in elevation across the city planning area. You can see have a view of the city, how the, the land terrain is undulated and we can further see this map is prepared in the uh, document which shows the contour and you can see how the contour varies from 420 meters to 640 meters and then the other infrastructure which are around it. In the process and the document, the geomorphology, soil texture, slope, and groundwater prospects of the planning area of 2031 are reviewed. So, we further see that these uh, physiographical features have been reviewed. We see here uh, they have prepared the map of geomorphology of the city where they show different uh, range of uh, geomorphology which is present in the city. We can also see that the in this map the soil texture which is uh, uh, which has been studied for the planning purpose here. We can also see the slope uh, variation in the city and then the groundwater prospects. We further see that in the document, the land owned by the government and the private owners have been indicated and also the land values and the pattern is reviewed. We can see in this map here how uh, the government land has been identified, the, it shows the land ownership, private land, government land and uh, along with the other uh, uh, key elements in the map. We can also see the land value in this where uh, how the land value varies with the highest price at the center of the city to variation at the peripheral areas. We see that in the document it further reviews the disaster risk component in the planning area. We see the earthquake zone 2 and 3 in the map and all the area which comes within that. Further, the climatic conditions are reviewed including temperature, humidity, wind, direction, rainfall and air quality. In the development plan document, the heritage and culture of the planning area has been reviewed in totality. The process of listing heritage and grading the same is mandatory exercise in the Bhopal planning area within the time frame specified by the state government and shall uh, uh, become an integral part of the development plan. So, you can see here in this that it is done intensively and integrated with the planning process. Uh, in this map, you can see uh, historic core of Bhopal has been identified on all, all historic places and then the Chalk Bazaar, Heritage Walk uh, along with the major infrastructures have been indicated in the document. The urban image of uh, the city is a coll collective visual appearance contributed by natural and man-made elements. Bhopal is gifted with the rare monuments and splendid areas of vulnerable architecture. The built heritage comprising areas such as Jumerati Gate, Kamla Park, Raj Bhavan, Minto Hall, Chalk Area, Jama Masjid, Moti Masjid and Gohar Mahal so on, uh, they all need to be dealt with utmost care and pride for the city. So, that all has been acknowledged in the plan document. An inventory of the heritage building of cultural, historical, socio-economical and architectural values was also prepared by INTAC uh, which is Indian National Trust for Art and Cultural Heritage in 1984 resulting in a document of more than 281 buildings divided into four grades based on the respective values of each building. In the map, the gates of heritage importance have been marked uh, given in the document. For example, you can see the gates Babe Sikandari, Saukat Mahal Gate, Sardar Darwaza, Kala Darwaza and so on. Further suggested components in the section of analysis of existing scenario and development issue in the development uh, plan content as per the guidelines include the demographic profile. So, we have seen so far the background components, now we are going to look at what uh, uh, demographic profile what all should be given in the development plan. Here we see as suggested in the guidelines that the demographic profile should cover the existing population and distribution, population growth and its composition, 
uh, including what is the natural growth, what is the migration pattern, uh, jurisdictional changes, floating population, um, age, sex composition and literacy rate, workforce participation, population density, net and gross, household characteristics, household sizes. So, these are suggested and let us see how uh, uh, what kind of information has been given in uh, Dev Bhopal Development Plan. Uh, in Bhopal Development Plan document, the urbanization and growth trends are reviewed. The demographic profile indicate that Bhopal is the second largest city of Madhya Pradesh with population of uh, 18, um, more than 18 lakhs as per census of 2011. The city has experienced natural growth and expansion of its limits due to which the municipal limits ha was expanded. In 1950, the population of Bhopal was uh, just above 1 lakh. Population of Bhopal for the current year is estimated as uh, uh, about 23 lakhs. Bhopal has grown by um, uh, uh, more than uh, 2 lakhs since uh, 2015, which represents a 2.56 percent annual change. These estimates represent the urban agglomeration of Bhopal, which typically includes Bhopal's population in addition to the adjacent suburban areas. Uh, in the table from the document, we can see the decadal population growth. Looking at the population density, the net population density of the Bhopal Municipal Corporation area is 62 percent per hectare as per the existing situation analysis on the GIS platform. This low gross population density is mainly because of the natural constraints such as undulated terrain with hills, forest areas and water bodies occupying a large area of land thus reducing the effective land area available for habitation. Considering the developed area of the city, the population density is 104 persons per hectare. The population of Bhopal as per census 2011 is 19 lakhs against the projected 25 lakhs estimated in the year 2005. The estimated population is even uh, is uh, not achieved even uh, in the year 2019. In development plan, the population density uh, is prescribed at the city level. The population density will depend upon the development of land and actual population inhabited at the end of the plan period that is 2031 and it would be practical to calculate the population density at the end of the duration of the plan period as per the um, uh, development plan document. Uh, here we can see how the ma document provides the ward wise population density map and all the descriptions of the population, uh, how it has grown and uh, what is the trend. Further we see that the sex ratio of Bhopal uh, as indicated in the document is 918 females per 1000 males as per census 2011. This ratio is equal to the sex ratio of the state of Madhya Pradesh. However, it is less when compared to the other cities of the same category. Uh, balanced sex ratio represent the stable social structure. A low proportion of females indicates a lack of housing facility in the state. Migrant workers have a tendency to live alone in cities as employees leaving their families in their native place due to high rent or non-availability of houses. The social and cultural life of city can be improved by fulfilling the housing demand. So, we can see how it affects our, uh, the, uh, the housing availability of housing affects how the community behaves. Looking at the literacy rate, it is seen that Bhopal has as per census 2011 uh, uh, is 83.47% which is less than indoor despite of many institutions in the city. You may find uh, a lot of institutions, REC, uh, uh, Manit Bhopal and all these institutions are located and uh, uh, despite that we have very low uh, literacy rate. We notice lower literacy rate in the old Bhopal area as per the map. In the document, a review of social profile of the city is provided. It indicates that the person of SC, ST population in different wards varies from ward to ward. The highest percentage 
uh, is 48.3 percent of STSC population uh, that is found in ward number 63 and the lowest percentage is 1.3 percent which is found in ward number 41. The map prepared in the document indicates the distribution of STSC population in different wards. In the document population projection is undertaken, the population is estimated using incremental uh, increase method which indicates uh, 35.39 uh, which is can be approximately 36 lakhs has been considered as the basis for planning in the city of 2031. As per the document, if the current growth trends continues, the total population in the planning area is expected to go up to 26 lakhs by 2021 and 35.39 uh, lakhs by the year 2031. This growth will require additional infrastructure service and facilities to cater to the needs of the future population and to facilitate a high quality of life within the city and that will be the target of the development plan. And this we can see the population projection done. In the document further study using remote sensing data has been taken to understand the urban sprawl. Urban sprawl of the city was guided by industries and transportation network. Bhopal also has the concept of sub-city. In development plan 2005 proposals were given for sub-cities such as Baragar, Old Bhopal, Titinagar, BHL, BHL extension, Misroth, Neori, Kolar municipality and for each sub-city population is monitored and projected for development purpose. Further suggested component and the important component in the section of analysis of existing scenario and development issue in the development plan content as per the guidelines include the land profile. Uh, as suggested while doing the review of land profile, uh, following aspects should be covered. Uh, one needs to look at the jurisdiction changes and the efforts of planned development, existing land use map with revenue level details, developable and non-developable areas, existing zones and development with zoned areas, built floor space, floor space permitted particularly including vending zones, heritage zones and so on. In the document, the historical perspective is taken of the key land use covering from residential, commercial, industrial, public, semi-public, transportation, recreational, agriculture, water and forest area. As we can see in the table, the planning team further in the document compares the current land use with the URDPFI guidelines and also reviews the area available for development. The development plan team reviewed the variation compared to 2005 development plan uh, in the land use based on the actual ground scenario and suggested interventions in the identified sectors. We can see here all the six uh, sectors which have been identified and what kind of variations they have observed and according to those variations and the quantum of variations the strategies have been developed the another study which was done to identify these sectorial changes. In the document, area required is calculated based on the projected population for the year 2031 which is 36 lakhs. The increase by 2031 will be around 16 lakhs. The requirement for minimum additional area by 2031 is estimated on the basis of current population density of 100 person per hectare. So, we can see here how much area would be required uh, in the city. Further in the process, the land suitability analysis was undertaken following a very systematic approach. We shall cover the details of various analysis in the later part of the course. Uh, moving forward, we see that uh, further suggested component and considerably determining component in the section of analysis of existing scenario and development issue. And development plan content as per the guidelines include review of infrastructure profile and transportation. So, we see the, uh, what does the guideline suggest? The guideline suggests that infrastructure profile for transportation should cover the following aspect mode of transportation by road, rail, air, water as the case may be and network of roads, railway, waterways and so on, transportation corridors and terminals. Transport, uh, tr uh, transportation intra-city, transportation facility, pedestrian and bicycle parking, signage and way finding. So, all these should be suggested to be considered under the development plan. So, we see that in Bhopal development plan, the assessment is taken of traffic, 
vehicular growth, traffic volume, parking scenario, public parking, existing transportation scenario including regional linkages, intercity road network, intracity road network, existing road situation, existing transport, public transport facilities including public transport city bus routes, existing pedestrian and bicycle network, existing intercity transport including railway, interstate and intercity bus terminal, intracity bus terminal and airport and so on we see. Uh, the uh, plan which has been developed you can see uh, the document has prepared the existing ne transport network uh, plan here. Uh, it also shows the railway station buffer according to the uh, all the uh, main stations and how those buffers are. Uh, it also reviews the proposed mass transit system. There is an operational bus rapid system corridor in the city. There is also rapid mass transit system uh, that is metro network. Uh, is under implementation to cater to ever growing traffic needs of the city. So, we can see here how the proposed metro network has been also provided, map is also been provided in the document. Moving forward, we see that further suggested component, an important component in the section of analysis of existing scenario and development issue in the development plan content as per the guidelines include shelter or a shelter or the housing which we see. So, uh, according to the guidelines, what does it needs to have? It needs to cover both formal and informal aspect of shelter uh, while considering for the uh, uh, existing scenario as well as for calculating the future uh, requirement. Need, uh, it, uh, the planners need to look into the housing scenario, housing stock and supply, mapping of slums, squatter settlement. Juggi Jhopri cluster, other informal settlements, housing supply mechanism, how is the mechanism, housing need assessment including typologies, low cost housing, affordable housing, rental housing, night shelter, slums, shelter, squatter settlement and so on. Uh, what we see in uh, Bhopal uh, document, development document, in the document the housing scenario is analyzed. Uh, review has been undertaken of total houses, houses on good condition, livable conditions and dilapidated condition as per the census data of 2011. Housing stock is also reviewed, existing housing need assessment is made where the housing shortage is estimated. Slums have been identified in the city, we can see here the map has been prepared which indicates the slum or the illegal colony locations in the city, you can see the slum location in uh, yellow color here in the map. Further, uh, we see uh, other component which is suggested is the environment uh, while reviewing the city profile or creating the city profile. As per the guidelines, the environmental profile uh, should cover all these areas if it, they are there, eco sensitive zones, protected or restricted areas such as national parks and wildlife, sanctuaries and eco sensitive buffers around it river, water bodies and wetlands, coastal hill zone if any, green and forest covers, pollution levels, disaster management, hazard prone uh, zones such as earthquake floods or flash flood areas. In Bhopal development plan 2031, uh, we see green cover area is, re uh, is uh, reviewed. The natural and geographical setting of Bhopal renders a unique environmental characteristic to the city of Bhopal. It is bestowed with hills, lakes and abundant with uh, unique and rare flora and fauna. The city is built on the banks of two lakes. There are in total 18 major water bodies that are important not only from the point of view of water resource, but also from the ecology of the whole Bhopal region. The total area under cover, uh, green cover includes eco sensitive area of nearly uh, more than 3 square kilometer, recreational area of more than 4 square kilometer, reserved forest more than 57 square kilometer and revenue forest more than 18 square kilometer. In the plan document, uh, we see that uh, they have also reviewed the topography and landform and water bodies. Uh, Bhopal is known as a city of lakes. Bhopal region has in total 18 water reservoirs. The total area of water bodies which includes lake, rivers and streams constitute uh, more than 54 square kilometer which is 5 percent of total planning area. 
In the document, the catchment area of upper lake is mapped and natural drainage characteristic is reviewed. Uh, we further see uh, that uh, the guidelines suggest that uh, uh, all the facilities like uh, uh, education, uh, healthcare, recreational spaces and religious spaces, socio-cultural facilities should be reviewed. Uh, within the physical infrastructure, we see that uh, water supply, energy, drainage, uh, all the um, generation and collection system for uh, waste, also uh, police protection and fire protection, all these need to be reviewed. In Bhopal Development Plan of 2031, we see that detailed reviewing of existing urban infrastructure is made. It includes water supply details, including estimation of demand, water supply sources are reviewed, distribution system is reviewed and issues and observations are noted for planning purpose. Here we can see water supply zones have been identified and all the water treatment plant have been located. You can see oh, all the wat, uh, water distribution areas, different distribution areas in this map which has been prepared. We can see uh, uh, in this table uh, different water sources uh, for water availability. Further detail, uh, we see that sewerage infrastructure is also reviewed including estimation of waste water flow, uh, existing sewerage system, sewerage network. Uh, carried out through Amrut Mission in the city, decentralized wastewater treatment system and thereafter observations and issues are noted for planning purpose. We see that existing sewerage network has been mapped here. In the development plan, the solid waste management infrastructure is reviewed. The cognizance is taken of the existing scenario. Uh, we see here uh, solid waste management transfer stations have been identified, mapped and uh, uh, mapped for the document. We also see that stormwater drainage facilities are reviewed. The existing condition is reviewed and observations and issues are noted. Here we can see the landfill and dump yard sites being indicated in the map. Further, we see electricity scenario in the city is reviewed for the purpose of industrial consumption, commercial, residential and miscellaneous and how much is the demand existing consumption has been calculated. Uh, we see the power supply network of the uh, city here being documented and demand analysis for power is made and observations and issues are noted for planning purpose. Further see the social infrastructure. The quality of life in any urban center depends upon the availability and accessibility to quality social infrastructure. So we can see here in the table number of social infrastructure in the city ranging from Anganwadi, bank, colleges, government hospital, private hospital, police station, post and telegram office, school, university, fire station, ATM, marketplace, malls and so on. Uh, we see education facilities in the city are also mapped. We can see all the schools here mapped in this. Uh, health facilities in, uh, in the city are also mapped here. You can see the maps prepared for the development plan purpose. Socio-cultural facilities such as community toilet, historic religious places uh, in the city are also mapped and observations are noted. You can see existing community toilet in the map here. You can also see the historic and religious places. So uh, the, these have been all documented in um, uh, Bhopal Master Development Plan. Uh, URDPFI guidelines uh, further uh, gives guidelines to also document uh, the administrative profile like legal framework, institutional framework, fiscal expenditure, major public issues, key issues in governance, grievances, readdressal, city level reforms. Uh, uh, however, we do not see that in this particular volume of Bhopal Development Plan. Uh, the URDPFI guidelines also uh, says to document economic profile, looking at the primary and uh, secondary uh, uh, economic uh, pattern of the city, uh, as well looking at the uh, primary, secondary and tertiary economic pattern of the city. So it suggests all of them to be uh, documented in this. And uh, it also suggests the range of plans and maps which have to be prepared. So in overall, we have seen so many ranges of maps which have been developed for the plan. So summarizing in the end, we would see that uh, we have seen uh, how development plan is distinct. Uh, we are going to further look into uh, a development plan in further uh, sections. Uh, 
but you have seen how it is different and how intensive and detailed it is. You are also seeing major contents of the development plan. So, right now we are looking at the first component of the development plan where the existing infrastructure, existing scenario of the city uh, are reviewed. Uh, further, we saw how uh, how or what kind uh, what information has to be captured to indicate the existing conditions and development issues, uh, and we saw it through the case of Bhopal Development Plan. You saw a range of documentation uh, has been done. Understanding studies have been done from the population to housing to all the infrastructure to really capture how the progress is happening and what future direction it is taking. And uh, while seeing all these things, we also saw a range of maps which have been prepared in the development document. So, uh, uh, this was the coverage of today's session. Uh, the references which we used were majorly URDPFI guidelines. We also used the Bhopal Development Plan, and then we also had some references from the lectures from SP Delhi. Our coverage was limited with the scope to make you aware of the topic. There are enormous readings and movies available to explore. Few are suggested here. This is not an extensive list. You may feel free to suggest more from your experience. Please feel free to ask questions. Let us know about your concerns you have. Do share your opinion, experiences and suggestions. Looking forward to interacting and co-learning with you while exploring cities and urban planning. Thank you so much.